Good morning, Marathon. I'm Esteban. And I'm Alex. And, and this, this is, is DNN. DNN. <laughs> Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Freshmen, the first fundraiser for this year is bagging groceries this Sunday, September 3rd, at Publix and Marathon. We are very short on volunteers. Please see Dr. Bellotti to sign up for a shift. An informational meeting for prospective new members of Mu Alpha Theta National Honor Society will be August 31st at lunch. This is your chance to get an application and learn about the club. Are you interested in being a member of our marching band, but you yeah. can't play an instrument? Well, we have good news for you. Mr. Rahill is considering a flag team. If, if twirling flags sounds like fun, see Mr. Rahill ASAP. ASAP. And now for a special weather report with Aiden Jackson, stationed in Beaumont, Texas, monitoring the remnants of Tropical Storm Harvey. Mm. It's bad. We're live here in Texas reporting on what's left of the major hurricane that hit earlier this week. The center of the tropical storm, Harvey, edged out over the Gulf of Mexico late yesterday, and satellite images and radar loops show that Harvey is responding to the storm by building intense thunderstorms near its center. <laughs> oh, oh boy. These thunderstorms will bring renewed rounds of torrential rains to the Houston area through at least late morning. Houston got a brief reprieve from the heavy rains that submerged the city last weekend. Harvey's heaviest rains fell instead near the Louisiana-Texas border. As you can see, it's still blowing pretty hard here. We sure dodged a bullet on this storm. <laughs> Back to you, Alex and Esteban, before we blow away. Oh, that's all the news for today, folks. I'm Alex. And I'm Esteban. And this is DNN. DNN. I'm out.